In this video, we're going to talk about setting up our parts lists for our pipe networks. So now that we have set our parts catalog by going to our set pipe network catalog and selecting our imperial pipe catalog and imperial structure catalog, what you can go ahead and do is navigate to the settings tab uh, underneath pipe network, underneath parts lists. And what you'll see here is there's three currently in the drawing, sanitary sewer, standard, and storm sewer. So to create a new parts list, you would go ahead and right click on the parts list folder and click create parts list. Inside of the parts list creation window, you have the information tab of what you're creating. Then you have the option of pipes, structures, and then the summary with the information about what is included inside of your parts list. So under pipes, to start creating a new set of pipes in your parts list, what you're going to go ahead and do is right click on the new parts list and add part family. Inside of add part family, you have the options of choosing circular pipes, egg-shaped pipes, elliptical pipes, and rectangular pipes. And these folders correlate with the folders inside of your catalog. So if you want to add in specific types of pipes, you would go ahead and check the ones that you want. And Civil 3D will show you what they look like over here. And so moving on from here, once you've selected all the pipes that you want to use, uh, you're going to go ahead and click OK. And then you can expand down and see the types of pipes that you have available to you. And then from here, you can right click on which pipes you want to add. You can add a part size. And then inside of the part size, what you can do is you can choose which diameter pipe you want to use. And when you select that, based on the catalog information inside of Civil 3D, it'll update your wall thickness. It'll also have your material, and your Manning's coefficient, and all of your other information about the pipe inside of these tables. So once you've selected your pipe size, you can go ahead and click OK. And then once you drop down into corrugated HDPE pipe, you'll see a 48 inch corrugated HDPE pipe, was, which is what we added. If you want to modify this 48 inch corrugated pipe, you could right click on it and click edit. And then you can change the pipe diameter and go back in. The only problem is that it doesn't update the title of what the type of part is. So once you go into here and edit, It'll be an 8 inch diameter pipe, but it will be called a 48 inch corrugated HDPE pipe. So I don't recommend doing that. If you didn't want this part and you were trying to get an 8, then I would just delete the part and then right click and add a new part in. Go up to the pipe diameter, select the pipe you meant to choose, and then click OK so that it is appropriately named inside of your parts list. Same thing with structures. You can start with structures. Usually when you create a new parts list, you're always given a null structure. Basically, this is just so that when you create a network and you go part to structure creation method, then you have at least one structure to work with, which is a null structure, which is just basically a blank structure that allows you to call out what the invert elevation is that you're tying to. So from here, what you can do is right click and select add part family. You can choose a part family that you want to have added into your drawing, you can click OK. And then inside of the parts list now, you should see additional parts. So we have box culverts, head walls, and wing walls. So you can right click on that, add a part size, and select your information for your structure that you want to add in. Click OK. And then that will populate a part inside of this parts list. So as you can see, it's very tedious to create a whole parts list all by itself. So I often find myself using the ones that are already created inside Civil 3D because we have sanitary sewer here and storm sewer here. And then you can right click edit, go into pipes, drop down, select the concrete pipe that you want. You can also always still add a part family, select one that's not currently in there and add those in. But then you can work from here and you have all of the pipes already inserted into, into the parts list here, and you can just edit it by adding additional parts as needed. If you don't mind wading through lots and lots and lots of information, there is also an option for creating a parts list with every single part that is inside of your part catalog. You can do that by clicking on the Create Design dropdown and click on Create Full Parts List. And so by doing that, you will create a parts list with every single part that is inside of your catalog.